welcome back to the substandard leader of Fox Body Videos on this here man's YouTube and this video will certainly live up to that billing. Um, the title is, What's in a Name? Uh, well, sometimes nothing, sometimes there's a story, sometimes there's actually a reason, um, sometimes, you know, is, you just give a car a name because you've got three blue cars and you just can't say I'm taking the blue car. Uh, you gotta name it, um, or you don't have, you know. It just makes it simple. Uh, so, a lot of you older subscribers may know the stories of some of these cars, and but we've got a lot of newer people, and uh, not that we have a lot of subscribers, but we probably, we've probably got more than we ever intended to have, that's a fact. So, I figured I'd do this real quick to go with some of the names of the cars um, and how we got there. This car is easy, we've just got it. Um, the owner of the car is Rob, his name is Rob. And this thing looks like The Walking Dead. It is horrible looking, or you know what I mean. It, it's pretty rough, uh, just from a look standpoint with the rust and stuff like that. So, and I like Rob Zombie. Uh, I like his music. So, that all those things together just kind of, you know, made it into the Rob Zombie car. So, uh, it's a fitting name, I think, uh, and it works, and it kind of rolls off the tongue pretty easy. And that's uh, how we ended up with that. So I'm gonna take you off your stand and I'll just walk you around and we'll run through the other cars really quick like some of them are easy, some of them a little bit more detailed in the story. So let's go look. The silver car, obviously still in pieces, we're working on it, but how did we get this name? This car was originally purchased by my ex-wife or her parents, I should say, as a graduation present for her. It had a couple of different names over the years. Uh, she called it the B-I-T-C-H. Um, I did too because this car was a little bit of a problem child and we had it early on um, as far as just being difficult about stuff. Um, we called it the Aluminum Falcon or I didn't. People called it that because I hated the hood on it. It had a Storm and Norman hood and you know they called it the Aluminum Falcon kind of like the Millennium Falcon but it just was a worse just crappy looking. Finally it's the same old thing. What car are you taking? I'm taking the silver car <laughs> to the track and it just became silver car. So that was pretty easy. Trojan horse is actually a little bit of a story because you would think some people see Trojan horse and they might think it's got a Chevrolet motor in it from, you know, the, the uh, Greek and Trojan war. So, but in actuality, when we got this car, it had, uh, I don't know, five or six or seven, uh, unused condoms in it and we still have them we kept them in honor of the trojan horse those are looking a little rough honestly so we still have them in here they've been with us on every pass so that's how we came up with the name for trojan horse which is actually kind of comical because pro stock had more unopened condoms in it than the trojan horse did teresa's car this car really went through some names. Um, it was known as Uncle Buck because it had uh, glass packs on it. So it sounded kind of crackly and poppy. When we first got it, she would drive it. She said it sounded like Uncle Buck car. Um, if you've never seen the movie, well, he had a LTD or something and, and it backfired like crazy. Uh, then it was called Repo um, because I kind of, I say I took it back from her, but she got the Mountaineer and I started driving it a lot more. And I, that name, I didn't particularly care for it. So uh, then I just, you know, what car are you taking the track? I'm work, taking Teresa's car. And since it's the only car she has or has had that was a Mustang or a Fox body, it just was easy. So that's how Teresa's car got its name. <sighs> the fail TD, <laughs> that's pretty self-explanatory. We threw this car together as a little bit of a joke and a hoon around type deal. And this thing kicked my butt. Now don't get me wrong, Pro Stock, I'm pretty sure has exceeded it as far as being a problem child. But this car gave me a bunch of trouble and frustrations and I was angry at it multiple times. Um, nearly traded it for a system X intake at one point in time to pirate. <laughs> but uh, we came to an understanding, it wanted to be a race car and um, Ever since then, Fail TD's been good to go. The Blue Dragon, everyone gets, oh no, Blue Dragon. Uh, this was actually called Mr. Blue, 
for the longest time. That was my, uh, like, forum names, uh, when, you know, like on Corral and stuff like that. So this was actually known as Mr. Blue. But uh, when I started race or started the channel, uh, it had so much dust and stuff on it. It looked like freaking dragon scales. Um, so I was like, hey, we'll just call it the Blue Dragon. That's easy. And then it just, so as far as a lot of the, YouTube guys know it's this has been the this is the blue dragon, but it's always been Mr. Blue. So uh, Teresa refuses to call it the blue dragon. She calls it the blue and silver car or Mr. Blue. So there you go. That's how <laughs> that's how this car got its name as far as a dragon. It was kind of a situational thing. Love boat. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, it's a big white Lincoln that we're racing and kind of looks like a yacht. So. It's the love boat from the TV show. Chinchilla Gorilla. We actually picked this car up with Pirate and Jake went with us from uh, Chinchilla, uh, Alabama. And as soon as we picked it up and loaded it on the trailer, I said, man, that's the Chinchilla Gorilla. And it's just been the Chinchilla Gorilla ever since. Um, patches, pretty self-explanatory. It's got a black hood, it's maroon, it's got a gray door, it's got a black hatch, it's got a blue door. Um, I had another Mustang GT at one time that I called Patches, and this car just reminded me of it. So Patches made it for an easy name. This is the Skyler car. This car's actually had a couple names. It was Action Jackson at one point in time, and it's actually got another name that I don't really want to reveal because it's situational. <laughs> if something happens, something may happen to where this car becomes something, and then it would spoil the surprise. Not technically for you guys, but just in general. You older subscribers remember Mustang. We picked it, picked it up about the same time we got uh, McNugget. Well, we did pick it up the same time we got McNugget, technically speaking, so here's the old Mustang. David owns this car, and uh, one day he's gonna do something with it. Krusty um, got his name from someone else. Uh, it was owned by a guy named, uh, we call him Little Dave, and a friend of mine, Brian, the guy I bought the brain from, was going to buy some parts from Crust from off of Krusty. And little Dave said, No, no, no. You gotta take you gotta take Krusty with you. It's all or nothing. And um, so Brian drug it home and Pirate went over to Brian's house to buy a four cylinder coupe, which became actually which Jake has now and also got the resurrection car from Brian. He had two coupes and he had Krusty. And uh, Pirate said, well, I just want the two coupes. And Brian said, no, 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 you gotta take Krusty with you. So Krusty ended up at Pirate's house. And then um, it sat there for, I don't know how many years and we got to talking about it. And he uh, said, hey, you know, why don't I just bring it over to your house and you can kind of start putting it together or something. And then he just basically gave it to me and um, that's where it now. I know Krusty looks bad, like he's in bad shape, but Krusty's not gonna become, Krusty will be not like Dragon. Krusty will be Krusty. So he'll be put back together. Um, we just gotta figure out exactly what we're gonna do. We kinda had an idea, now we're rethinking, we don't know. But Krusty will be back running at some point, maybe this year, not sure. We'll have to see how other cars play out. But that's how Krusty got his name. It was actually given by someone else and carried through Brian, then Pirate, then me. So he'll always be Krusty. Next up is something that we haven't seen a lot of, but it is the van, otherwise known as, that's right, the drag van. Um, got this as a, as a heart parts caller. I didn't really want a truck. Uh, Jake actually found the van on Facebook and I got it and honestly we modified it some and stuff like that but drag van got its name because it was always going to be going to the drag strip and racing and hopefully by the end of maybe this year or something we will see it back at the track doing what it does best dragging. McNugget well it got its name because the guy that's basically off camera is named Randy McCuddy and we called him McBuddy. And he basically found all these cars. He bought the SVO. We bought the uh, what would become McNugget. And we also bought Mustang. But we named McNugget McNugget because McCuddy, McBuddy, found the whole deal. And the car is a total freaking nugget. 
not because of chicken nuggets, but because of that deal. And he became McNugget, and we'll see him again soon. And that brings us to <laughs> their dirty pickle. Never has this has a car garnered, I guess, such enthusiasm or fandom without actually doing a dang thing than this piece of crap. But why did it become Dirty Pickle? That's pretty self-explanatory. Look at it. It just, the name just came 100% like, oh my gosh, as soon as I saw the car, it's green, it's gnarly. It's gotta be like the Dirty Pickle. It just has the right sound. It's the right car for the name. It's the right name for the car. It's just the right deal. Well, I'm sure that video was kind of weird because some of the cars are obviously by now in different states than when we started doing the name video. Um, a lot of them are further along. Trojan's running, Rob is running. Um, you know, Fail TD's been to the track since I started filming that video. But that pretty much sums up the names for, uh, for the cars. And I figured I would just kind of lump in a state of the union. I used to do these, I guess kind of once or twice a year, I guess, I don't know. Kind of a year in review for, for this one. Uh, <clears throat> so, and since our channel, or my channel, this channel, whatever channel, is more, we're geared more toward going to the track. That's our ultimate goal, is to get the cars running, get the cars raceable, go to the track, see how we run, and then try and make them a little faster, and then go to the track, see how they run, have a good time. That's really the circle. It's just a it's a constant circle um, of that's what we do. That's what we enjoy doing. I, lo I love driving the cars at the track. That's like my absolute favorite thing is driving the cars at the track. I really enjoy driving them up to the track because I just like driving the cars and I like seeing what we can do sometimes cheaply, maybe sometimes unconventionally, just you know within budget and stuff like that or to try and make the cars go a little faster and have a good time and prove that these little 8.2 deck motors are reliable and you know you can have a lot of fun with them don't spend a lot of money on them and stuff like that so you know that, that's what I that, that's what I enjoy doing so how did we do last year um, we did we did pretty good uh, for the most part I had to write some of this stuff down we made uh, we went to the track 16 times uh, between the um, three main cars that we took uh, we took pro stock a uh, bunch more or less, um, and then we, I had promised that I would get the love up to the track before summer, and we did accomplish that goal. That's one of the few things we actually did do that I promised. Um, we got love up to the track, and then we uh, got McNugget, uh, kind of didn't expect it, but we got McNugget back, and we got him to the track, and uh, we, we made 16 trips, we made 94 total passes, which that's a little bit of a bummer because I usually like to make about a, a hundred or more, or at least a hundred, just, that's just a number I like to try and do. And I mean, it worked out about an average of about six passes per trip, even though we did have a few one and dones uh, with Pro Stock where the car broke, we broke the transmission a couple times. Um, we had you know a couple issues there, uh, the Love Boat, we didn't make a ton of passes each time we took it for various reasons. Um, and then, uh, you know, McNugget, same thing. We had a trip where we didn't make as many passes as we would have liked. Uh, we also did manage to run personal best with all three cars, which, you know, I was happy with. <laughs> So what's our what's our goals for uh, 2023? Even though we're already into 2023, uh, make more than 100 passes. That'd be nice. Um, that you know, it might be a little tricky here and there uh, with the way Joey kind of runs the testing tunes and the radio prep and this and that and the other. But it won't be because we're technically not really trying. Um, 
our goals for this year uh, to get Rob to the track and run a personal best, which any pass for him would be a personal best. It's never been down the drag strip, so any pass would be a personal best. But to get in the sevens, that's the goal. To get in the sevens, I'm fairly confident that we're gonna be able to do that without much issue if it doesn't break or this or that. You know, it's, it should pretty easily go in the sevens. I'm pretty confident on that. Uh, to run a personal best in McNugget, we got a, some work we've gotta to do to him still and get to get him up there and beat his personal best in the 714. Um, <clears throat> to, uh, I would like to try and PB the fail TD, but I just don't know if I'm gonna be able to do that or not. Um, I'd like to, uh, we're gonna take Trojan and we're gonna personal best him, uh, both NA and, uh, Nash, uh, Nitrous. The best he ever ran on Nitrous was a 703, and I know that's fairly embarrassing, but that's what he ran. The best he ever ran on motor was 735. I'm pretty sure we can beat that. Um, and then the nitrous one, I think we'll be able to beat that too. Um, again, big thanks to Rob and uh, you guys for helping us out with uh, helping shore the rear end up a little bit. That's just one thing I don't have to worry about. Um, so I think we'll be able to do that. Uh, I'd also like to get Silver Car, you know, running and get it, get it to the track and, and PB it too. Um, that'd be... You know, I'd like to be able to do that. I think we, I think we can do that. Um, if we get it, just get it all bolted together. It should, it should run faster than its personal best of a 724 with the Vortec on it. If it doesn't, damn. <laughs> I mean, you know, it is what it is. So uh, anyway, that's uh, that's pretty much our goals. PB McNugget, PB uh, Trojan, PB Rob, PB the Silver Car. Those are the main goals. If we can squeeze the fail TD in and PB it, that would be fantastic, but it's not a priority, not right now. Uh, like to get Pro Stock back to where he needs to be. Um, however, I have to do that to get that, get him back up to the track, maybe PB him too, that'd be nice. Uh, and then I know we got a lot on our plate. That's a lot of work for a lot of cars. And uh, I'd like to be able to get uh, I'd like to be able to sometime maybe do some stuff with the with the love boat, um, just because we got a few. We need to make some changes to that uh, car to where it's more fun to race and where it's more fun to race, and uh, we can, you know. But eh, you never know with motivation with me how it'll strike, and I'll just start working on something. I mean, it's if you've watched this channel for any length of time, that's. I just, I'm like squirrel and I get to start working on something. Rob now, it's Rob, you know, Brad got me motivated to work on Trojan. Thanks again, Brad. Even though the car broke with him driving, which wasn't his fault, I'm glad that that we had that idea because it motivated me to get me get the car running and get it, you know, get him going again. And then I just kind of went over to Rob and just, you know, we've made progress. So that's always cool. Uh, I guess that is probably going, that is probably, I think going to wrap things up. So that's it. We're getting close to 17,000 whole subscribers. And <laughs> yeah, that honestly, that blows my mind because I don't rewatch my videos. I mean, I see them enough when I'm editing them and I just don't understand why people watch this stuff because it's really not that good. It's substandard at best. Um, but I'm glad you guys do. I certainly appreciate it. Um, and you know, I've met some really nice people, talked to some really nice people, and uh, that part, that aspect of it has been really cool. I'm a bit of an introvert, to be honest. I don't go out and make a bunch of friends because, you know, I just, I never, I've never really been like that. I have some, I have close friends and uh, like Pirate and, you know, Kevin and you know, Lance, I've known for years and years. And uh, I just don't feel the need to be, have a bunch of ton of friends and be popular or whatever. So. It's, it's kind of funny, it's easy to do the YouTube channel because I'm literally talking to a camera, even though I know you guys are out there watching. But I have met some nice people and some people that are you know enthusiastic about what how we do things. And that's really cool that, you know, because it's, it's way more fun talking to like-minded people than talking to people that are completely out in left field about, you know, you have the same interest. So it's been really cool. That's been a great thing about the YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, just, having fun with it and it motivates me to work on the car. So that's a win, 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 win. So anyway, thanks for commenting. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for all the ways you guys support the channel. Like I said, 
We couldn't do it without you, and truly, we wouldn't want to. Especially, though, thanks for watching. And until next time on Substandard Leader and Fox Body Videos in 2023, one your only Lincolns, four drag vans, and as always, fighting the good fight against the ever malicious Dr. Fear. We'll see you guys in the next video.